What is going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And today we're going to be talking about this Durango 348 BHF. We just got this thing in yesterday. It's a very cool floor plan. If you guys have a big family trying to take everybody out there camping, this is it because we have the biggest bunkhouse that I've seen thus far on a fifth wheel. So let's hop right into it. First things first, guys, check out this big old outdoor kitchen. Holy crap. Huge refrigerator. Plenty of space to keep all your outdoor cooking utensils. We have the outdoor shower here with our hot and cold water. That way we can hose some things off and do some outdoor dishes to GFCI outlets. Our hose as well as our propane quick connect for this griddle. Check this thing out. Love that. And then our propane quick connect is right back there. Cool, cool stuff. Now guys, we have the big slide here for the bunkhouse. We also have the slide here that's gonna be for our living room and kitchen. Now guys, we do have the ground control level up six point auto level system. You'll notice that we have our spare tire back there. There's that propane quick connect. And then this is a dual axle with the Equiflex suspension. And check out those wheels too, man. They make them look really nice. Cool stuff guys, let's move right along. This is the Durango by KZ. They've been around for a long time, guys. 1972, that's a while. Nice awning on the slide. And then another awning over on this side with our two marine grade speakers. And we got the outdoor entertainment, baby. Guys, like I said, this is the Durango 348 BHF. All weather insulation, four seasons package. And then this is the True Hits to Bumper two-year limited warranty, guys. Most everybody else is going to give you one, but these guys give you two. And we do have the leash latch, so we can hook up the pupper outside, hanging out with everybody, make sure they don't run off, having a great time. Guys, we're pre-wired for the Furion blind spot cameras, a couple more GFCI outlets, our outdoor entertainment that moves around. We have a nice cover to go with it. And check out this pass-through, man. We've got tons of storage in here. Here is our uh, nice power cord here. We do have a couple of lights and then we do have a heat duct right there that's gonna keep this guy nice and warm. In here, we will have our battery for solar since we are pre-wired for that, our battery disconnect, as well as our lithium ready charging system. Neat stuff. Now under here in the front, we do have a decent bit of storage. We can fit all kinds of stuff in here. All right. Here's our Lippert pin box. And then guys, check out this front cap. Durango. Have some nice LEDs over there. Nice fiberglass front cap. And then we have three more slides on this side. So we do have the nice auto level suspension, two 30 pound propane tanks. Let's talk about some weights right quick, guys. GVWR on this guy. $14,995. Here's the other end of our big pass-through storage. Huge over there. Again, with this schematic, I love this. Dry camping, power fill tank, city water, winterize, sanitize. Another outdoor shower that gives us hot and cold water. And then our cable and satellite end, our water pump, city water, our tank flush, and then our winterize valve. Neat stuff. Guys, this is a 50 amp service unit. Here's the back of our hot water heater right there. And then here are our holding tanks. So we do have our gray and black tank that's gonna come out of this guy right here. Neat stuff. Moving right along, guys. Here's the back of our refrigerator. Again, with the uh, level up system. And then that Equiflex made by Lippert. Beautiful stuff, gonna make sure this thing rides nice and smooth down the road. We do have a ladder with our fully walkable roof. Durango. And now we are pre-wired for the backup camera. And then guys, we are back here to our nice outdoor kitchen. Now I know what you're thinking. You've talked about this bunkhouse. Let's hop inside and see what this thing is all about. I'm sure you guys are gonna like it because this bunkhouse is crazy. All right. What do you guys think? 
Let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts and opinions from whenever we first walk in? What do you think of this kitchen? We'll get to that in a minute. Let's hop over into this massive, massive bunk room, guys. This thing is huge. So we have a nice twin bunk up top here. We do have this guy locked away for storage or in transportation. And this comes down to another twin bunk. So we got two of those guys and plenty of storage on this wall. Holy crap, are you kidding me? We can fit the whole family's wardrobe in here. So we have one closet that we can hang things in. And then in here we can put all of our folded clothes. Plenty, plenty of room. All of our folded clothes can go in these guys here. Same thing over on this side. And then another spot to hang up our clothes. And then four nice huge drawers that definitely get the job done. Now guys, these are soft clothes drawers. Really neat stuff. And now we do have the Thomas Payne Collection pull-out couch. This guy does flip out, giving us another space to sleep. And then we do have another bunk up top. How cool is that? So we have the twin bunk, full-size bed, another twin bunk, and another twin bunk. Not to mention our big old TV right there. We do have the skylight. We can put another AC in here if you guys wanted to. And then the best part about this is that we have the half bath. So if you guys have a bunch of kids that you're going camping with, stick them all in here. They've got their own bathroom. They've got their own TV. They've got their own beds. No harm, no foul. Nice foot flush toilet. Nice mirror with some storage behind. Stainless steel sink. And then storage underneath the sink as well. What do you guys think about this bunk room, guys? I mean, this is crazy. Four sleeper, five, six, if we had two people on uh, the Thomas Paine pull-out couch. Awesome stuff. Now, guys, this does have uh, the sliding door to go with it. So we can have that complete separation from everybody else in the bunkhouse. Now, let's talk about this little living area right here. Now, we'll have the Thomas Paine love seat. Now, guys, this thing... Uh, does heat it also vibrates on you and then uh, we do have a USB charger there too now this has the ejecto seat handle for our reclining so we can get that going and lean back and take a good old nap watch some TV in front of us look at the fireplace because this is the Inno flame electric furnace guys this is a 4700 BTU system it does has its own remote control so we can change the colors on that bad boy. We can change it up and down. We've got some speakers that are mounted there and the Furion infotainment system so we can hook up our phone, play uh, music from your phone, from the TV, uh, from Bluetooth, USB, aux cord, AM, FM radio, all of that good stuff. Our nice Connex TV with the wall mount so we can uh, move this guy around so everybody can get a good view. And then up above that, I really like the tinted glass in all of our cabinets. Awesome stuff. Plenty, plenty of storage. You have to put all kinds of games, movies, and things like that in there. Now with this kitchen table, I really do love the edge of this. It's like a live edge here on the side. It's not super straight. I really like that. It makes it feel a lot more organic. And guys, this is a legless table so there's no legs no no need to bump your knees or anything like that and we can pull it out more giving us a little bit more table space too and then they do give us these nice uh four chairs that do have some storage underneath really neat let's talk about this kitchen folks now we do have two bar stools that we have this nice elastic cord to keep them safe in storage two gfci outlets nice solid surface counter on our island Deep stainless steel sink. Our chef's nozzle on the faucet. And then plenty of drawer space underneath. Now this does have the soft closed doors, which is super nice. And then we do have the cover that goes over the sink and a nice holder for that, as well as a trash can for us. Now over here, guys, we have the Insignia huge four burner residential gas 
stove and oven. That thing is enormous. We can cook a whole turkey in there. And the matching insignia convection microwave as well. Plenty of storage around that guy as well as around the oven. And then we have a massive pantry. Guys, this pantry is huge. Each one of these shelves will hold 50 pounds worth of stuff. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would cook in this thing. Man, this refrigerator is enormous. Now this is a gas and electric refrigerator. We have the two doors for the fridge and two doors for our freezer. Man, this thing is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Guys, this does have the Tough Flex roofing, 20 year warranty on that guy. Super resistant to tears, has solar reflectivity, it's puncture resistant, and very flexible. Good stuff. Plenty of storage all the way around. Guys, we are pre-wired for King Wi-Fi, and we can stay engaged with KZ. So KZ Engage is their app where we can control the auto leveling, multiple slides, multiple awnings, our light zones, our tank monitor. We can do all of that from just your fingertips, just from your phone. Now in here, we will have our breaker panel and fuse box. Some more big time storage here. Yeah. Guys, what do you think about this kitchen and this living room? I mean, with this huge fridge, the big stove, the island, the nice seating, I'm really a fan of this. I love the decor and the darker wood. I think that this looks beautiful, not to mention our huge windows that we have. I really do like that. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Give me some feedback on this thing, would you? Now here is where we are going to control everything. So this is where we can control our slides, our awnings, our lights, all of that good stuff. And then our two Coleman Mach ACs. We do have our controls for that guy here. Now one thing I neglected to mention is the ceiling fan. We actually have a legit ceiling fan in here, which we don't see too terribly often, as well as the fantastic fan that's gonna get any odors or hot air out of here very fast, guys. And we got the uh, handle here that's mounted to the frame, our steps to go upstairs over the cap, and then our restroom. Now this is the tri-slide bathroom. So we have this locker here that's gonna lock it in transportation. Nice big residential shower. Look at this nozzle, guys, this is beautiful. Nice stainless steel place to put your uh, soaps and things like that. Nice place to sit. Plenty of storage so you can keep your towels or RV toilet paper, any of that kind of stuff. A nice mirror with the medicine cabinet just behind. Solid surface countertops. And then the gooseneck faucet with the stainless steel sink with storage underneath and then of course we've got a nice foot flush toilet awesome awesome stuff now guys in here we are going to be able to control our hot water heater so this is our hot water heater control which is neat that they put that in the restroom not a lot of people are doing that guys what do you think about this bedroom give me some feedback down in the comments below what do you think about this guy so this Coleman Mach AC has its own thermostat that's mounted on the wall there. The other thermostat is just going to control the one that is in the kitchen. We are backed for a TV. So we do have the Wi-Fi and 4G LTE extender. We are pre-wired for the King Wi-Fi. Plenty of storage over here, as well as our laundry hamper. And then plenty of pull-out storage so you guys can keep your underwear and socks and t-shirts and different stuff like that. Big time. Now with our closet, guys, this thing is enormous. Nice, big, big closet where we can hang a few things. And then I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but we are pre-wired and set up for a washer and dryer. So we are good to go there. And then with this bed, this guy does come up like so, giving us a very good amount of storage underneath the bed. Now, since this is an east to west bed, you do have the two windows on either side, so you can open those up and have a nice cross breeze so you can feel that fresh mountain air whenever you wake up or wherever you are. 
Now over on the side, we do have a couple of little storage cubby holes. So we can keep things like a CPAP machine or your phone whenever it's charging, any of that kind of stuff. But guys, like I said, we just got this in. I was really excited about it because it has that huge bunk room. That's gotta be my favorite part about this thing is that huge bunk room. I think that that is just enormous. But we'll walk around this thing one more time. Guys, let me know what you think. I'm always looking for feedback from all of my customers and all of my people who view me out there on YouTube. And thank you guys, I appreciate all the support. I read every single comment that you guys put out there. I'm loving all the growth. We're almost to 60 subscribers, which is great. Really happy about that. But thank you guys. I wanted to take a second to appreciate all of my subscribers out there. Man, the nice flush floors. Give ourselves one more nice little walk around before we head out. We'll go back into the bunk room one time. Well guys, like I said, if you could see yourself camping in this thing, let me know. I'm gonna have my phone number, my email address, my inventory website, a link to KZ's website, my Facebook page, all of that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in this KZ Durango or any other thing that you've seen on there, please let me know because I am gonna have uh, a link to this guy to KZ's website so you can learn more about this floor plan and all the other cool stuff that they've got. But guys, just like that, I'm going to hop out of here and go film another video for you. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later!